Good afternoon, everyone. Again, newest coach on campus, Mike O'Neill. Nice to meet a lot of you today, new faces. Uh, we actually have been here for a week, so unlike the men's team getting here today, we, we kicked things off. Uh, I think it was us in football that, um, that started uh, the athletic programs here on campus. Uh, we've had an action-packed week, as you, as you can imagine, with preseason being the grind it is. Uh, lots of two-a-days, uh, lots of uh, tired legs and, and tired minds, but the girls are putting in some, some great work, and it's been a, a very encouraging week, to say the least. Uh, we also uh, were able to get our first exhibition game uh, at the University of Iowa on Sunday, which, again, a very encouraging uh, workout for us against a Power 5 team in Iowa. Um, so, all in all, the week that I've had with the team, um, it's, been, it's been a great week and we're, and we're excited to, uh, to continue our preseason work this week with a, with a game at Wisconsin on Friday evening. Um, so again, another tough test for us here to come, but it should all prepare us for, for the grind of, of the regular season starting um, in 10 days. It's come around quick. Uh, Eastern Kentucky, uh, we head down there for, uh, for a game on the 18th. And then um, we, uh, we, on our way back, we stop at Indiana State uh, for our second game. So it's going to be a grind this year. Um, I'm excited for the challenge. Um, I know the team um, is excited as well. And, and we've got a, a brand new program, almost. It's, it's a brand new staff, obviously bringing in two new assistants in, in uh, Lawrence and Valentina, which I'm excited to work for, work with, should I say. Uh, they've hit the ground running this last week. and, and um, and lots of good work from them impacting the program in, in many different ways. And um, we've, got, we've got a brand new setup in terms of new players, um, new, new athletic trainer, uh, new strength and conditioning coach. Everything is brand new for this program. And, and, and I think the girls are excited about that and the new direction that we're, that we're heading. Um, it seems like a group that is, that is willing to uh, absorb information and, and work hard. Um, and that's all I'm, all I'm worried about right now. Again, we're not putting too many expectations on them. Um, it's one day at a time. Are you willing to work? Are you willing to compete? And uh, day by day, we'll take care of business. And, and, and this project, this, this long-term vision that we have for the program, we'll get there one day at a time. So uh, excited. Um, looking forward to seeing some of you at, at our home, home game on, uh, on uh, August the 26th against Lindenwood. Um, again, as Ryan mentioned, on our brand new field. So even more exciting for us to get out there and get playing. We'll be the first team on that field, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, excited to get going, and, and again, willing to answer any questions if any of you have any. Uh, taking over our program, uh, what's it been like to, for you to just kind of jump in and, and implement your style and your uh, formations and all that uh, for a team that you know, uh, is new to you as well? Yeah, I mean, I got a month with them prior to them leaving for the summer, so I got a good chance to evaluate players, um, evaluate where the program was, um, and... Honestly, it's, it, I was used to winning at my previous institution, and it's, it's about making sure that we are, we are prepared for the long-term vision here. Again, I would love to come in and say we're going to implement this, this, and this, but it takes time. That's the beauty of the process. Uh, it's not going to happen overnight, um, and as much as we're going to work hard and compete, there's some things that we are, we are prioritizing this first year, and that is, again, the standards that we set each and every day. Um, the, 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 the togetherness in the group and, 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 and being the best teammate that you can be. So once we establish those things and those things we are prioritizing as, as, a, as, a, as a first year program, uh, we'll start to implement more of the tactical things and, and recruiting players for our own identity on the field. But for right now, it's, it's making sure this program is, has got solid foundations for years to come. And you kind of alluded to it just there with recruiting. Uh, just take a quick look at the roster. There's a, lot, a great mix of you know, players from all over, but also a mix of local talent. Yeah, yeah, we've we've got we've got a, a a diverse roster, which is great. We've got some older heads, some some girls, uh, Kylie Hermeyer. We've got Jenna Louie. We we recruited a, a fifth year grad student in Jordan King, so some experience there. Uh, we've also got a very young group, um, and uh, again, it, it serves us well, hopefully, with with having that mixture and in, in, in the continuation of success, hopefully, in years to come. Uh, and in terms of in terms of uh, the, the 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 geographical footprint from a recruiting standpoint. The Midwest is a goldmine for soccer. Um, it's Chicago, uh, the, the, the Detroit, Indianapolis, St. Louis. I mean, everything is going to... There, there's no reason for us to recruit um, all these other areas of the country when you've got such good quality and such good players close to home. And, and again, more specifically, the Chicago area in itself has a ton of talent. Uh, we've got 
some of those girls on our roster, which is great, and we'll continue to add them as, as the years go as years go by, and, and hopefully they'll they'll um, they'll improve our program as we move forward. Any other questions, Coach O'Neill? Thank you. Appreciate it.